Hello everybody, um, this is a quick video um, on updates to SMSer. Um, it's not ready yet, but this is SMSer 2.0 right here. Um, I'm kind of lazy right now, so I'm just filming this on my tablet, so sorry about the quality. Um, but anyway, what you'll notice about SMSer is, well, it looks different. Um, it no longer runs on a Quran job, it just runs more of a daemon, I guess you could call it. Um, so if you want to just start it, you can start it here, you can make it run on startup. Um, and you can send a test message. I'll just go ahead and start it really quickly so you can see what happens. And there it goes, it's running. So, um, also, another update is that it no longer runs as a what's called a live tile where it like updates every, I think it's five seconds. So, it uses less system resources um, in that respect. It also no longer runs as a cron job. <coughs> Also, it no longer takes as long to reply. It'll take a random time between 20 and 60 seconds to um, run again. So, you know, you can get messages back pretty quickly. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. And here, here we see a lot of new features. So first of all, you can control SMSer up here. Um, I'm still working on making it refresh automatically and all that stuff. <coughs> and then here... There has been a lot of additions. And I'm still working on it too. Um, what's new is you can start SSL strip, um, TCP dump. Uh, what else did I add? You can control each individual light. Um, you can get statuses for karma, SSL strip, DNS spoof. Um, you can stop SMSer also. Just by sending you a message, I believe it is this one right here. It's like, can't talk, don't talk, stop talking, something like that, and it'll stop SMS or immediately. Um, you know, you have your custom commands and everything still. And also, it is um, it is more efficient now at actually getting your messages. I know that a lot of people before have had problems with not being able to read the messages, or with SMS or not being able to read the messages. I've fixed that pretty significantly and I think that there won't be any more issues with that. Um, so you know your configuration, that's still the same, nothing changed. Logs, um, still the same. <coughs> um, oh, no, logs is not the same. It looks still looks the same, but this semester it has been rewritten and like it's been completely rewritten. And um, logging is a lot more efficient now, or not more efficient, but it's more verbose in its logging, I guess you could say. Um, so you can get a lot more um, information for debugging problems and uh, stuff like that in your logs. Um, about, you know, just about, whatever. And source code. Um, it hasn't changed much. Uh, the code has been completely rewritten. The tile still looks exactly the same for the most part. Um, Yes, the code has been completely rewritten. I've added comments um, at every function so that you can see what it does better. <coughs> um, I've tried to make it as readable as possible for you. You know, just in case someone wants to make a modification to it or something like that. I, you know, go ahead. It's open source. And, so yeah, thanks for checking it out. Semester 2.0 will be available um, relatively soon.